Reverend Marjorie Linton, Minister of Religion, author, spiritual advisor, and motivational speaker with over 20 years experience. Welcome to my podcast, Healing Thoughts Today, where I share workable views for healing and inspiration to empower you and lift your vision higher. We are together again in one accord. Praise the Lord. Something good is going to happen. I know it. I can feel it. Yes, my friends. It works when you work it. Amen. I am so very happy to share today's healing thoughts with you. Exercise your faith is the topic today. Despite all that's happening in our lives and in the world, we affirm the truth, my friends, that God is in charge and all is well. Amen. This morning, I would like to invite you to go with me on a journey to Jerusalem, to the Pool of Bethesda, and visualize the scene, if you will. There is a huge crowd of sick people with different complaints gathered at this pool. Some are paralyzed, some are blind, and some are lame. They're all waiting for healing indefinitely. In John chapter five, it is said that at a certain time of the year, an angel would come down and touch the water. And the first person who gets into that pool would be healed. Can you picture the confusion? Going into that pool by yourself seems almost impossible if you are lame. Notice, I use the term almost impossible because in another breath, Jesus says in Matthew 9, 26, with men, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. So we need to find out what executes the possibility. Now, all kinds of sick people are at the pool. Some of them are there for years. One man with a certain infirmity had been there for over 38 years without success, helplessly waiting and hoping year after year, that someone would have mercy and compassion on him. The more I think of the scene, the more the situation looks crazy. Something just does not add up. The question is, why would a good God who made us in his image and after his likeness create such a difficult scene? Why would only one person be allowed to enter the water? What is the missing link? Jesus also said in Mark 9 verse 23, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. So, given these two assurances from Jesus, could the missing link be the man's faith? The thing is, my friends, I believe all the people who went to the pool had some kind of faith. They made the first step by going to the pool. So, what were they not doing to get into the pool? James 2 verse 17 seems to have the answer. Even so, faith, if it has no works, is dead being alone. So, my friends, the missing link seems to be the man's faith. 
Merely going to the pool was not good enough. He needed to activate his faith or put feet on his prayers. Eventually, a time came when the man was tired of waiting. He had enough. Something had to give, he thought. He was ready to be healed. Gradually, he saw the light, changed his thinking, and he took responsibility. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me, he claimed. When the student is ready, the teacher will appear, my friends. Jesus became visible at that appointed time because the man was ready to take action. Why are you lying down here? Jesus asked. The man was full of excuses. I have no one to help me, he said. Every time I try, someone comes in my way. There is no way I can get into that pool ahead of all these people. Jesus looked at the man and said commandingly, You have all that it takes to help yourself. Get up, take up your bed, and walk. The man realized he did not even have to wait on the angel to trouble the water, my friends. He realized he didn't need anyone to help him. He realized he didn't even need to get into the pool to be healed. He immediately got the courage to take up his bed and he walked. The thing is, my friends, Jesus was always available to him, but he was plagued with doubts, worry and fears for all these years, all of which held him in bondage. His thoughts of limitation paralyzed him and he found excuses year after year. Other people are getting in my way. But it is better late than never, my friends. The man eventually reached the end of his rope and he was ready to surrender and hand it all over to Jesus. He plugged into the source, the one and only source, God, the good, omnipotent, and the miracle happened. Jesus, who was always there, became visible. Through the realization of the power of the Christ within him, the man at the pool suddenly realized he did not have to wait on anyone but himself. He realized he had the power of the Christ presence within him to heal himself. So he took action. He took up his bed and he walked. If there is a challenge in your life that's keeping you in bondage, my friends, it is time to activate your faith with action. If you are experiencing ill health, don't buy into it. Start affirming wholeness and completion. If you are experiencing financial lack, deny that too and see abundance manifesting. If people are getting in your way, See them powerless. If you have relationship problems, start blessing your relationships and see them becoming loving and harmonious. We should always acknowledge the Christ presence within us, my friends. We cannot do anything of ourselves, nor will Jesus do anything for us unless we try to help ourselves. Jesus is always with us, but we must exercise our faith with action, and then he will help us accomplish our goals. There is no need to beg and plead. 
sitting and feeling sorry for ourselves will not work. Nor does sitting and waiting for someone to do the work for you. We need to move, act with self-confidence. Believe that God can work in and through you to make things happen. If you believe, you will achieve. We all have the faculty of faith within us, but we must utilize it. We must put our faith to work instead of finding excuse after excuse. When we step out in faith, my friends, the Christ will come to lift us up. Jesus, the Christ, never fails. Just reach out to God and he will reach down to us. He will meet us right where we are in our challenges. Seek him earnestly. Step out in faith and he will direct our steps. Amen. And now, friends, let us look at some points for contemplation. When the student is ready, the teacher will appear. We should always acknowledge the Christ presence within us. We cannot do anything of ourselves, nor will Jesus do anything for us unless we try to help ourselves. Jesus is always with us, but we must exercise our faith with action. There is no need to beg and plead. Sitting and feeling sorry for ourselves will not work, nor does sitting and waiting for someone to do the work for us. We all have the faculty of faith within us, but we must utilize it. When we step out in faith, the Christ will come to lift us up. God will meet us right where we are in our challenges. Seek God earnestly. Step out in faith and he will direct your steps. Amen. And now, beloved friends, please join me for the call to action. Just know, my friends, that the Father who created you and brought you forth is the same Father who will sustain you and help you to go forward to your highest good. Rest quietly now in this awareness and know that whatever your fear, disappointment, problem or difficulty may be, the Father is with you now ready to help you to rise to victory. Just step out in faith. Put your hand in God's hand and claim your divine birthright. You have what it takes to accomplish good. All that the Father has is yours. He is ready to restore you in mind body and spirit. Claim your healing now in the name of Jesus the Christ. Amen. I do hope you have received a blessing from today's healing thoughts, my friends. May God continue to bless you. Please subscribe. Music